Um, yeah, it's, it's it's a different game because uh, we are being yeah you have to say we are the favorites. So uh, it's a different game which demands different uh, solutions. So yeah, but we are well prepared and uh, things fine. Okay. Captain, how is the preparation like? Yeah, well, um, good afternoon. As coach said, um, everything is going on well. Um, we have a few days to train. So, as players, we're trying to stick to to the plan, to the details, and just try and make sure that we, we start um, this qualifiers with, with three points out. I mean, Nigeria is from Africa as well, I think. <laughs> so, <laughs> what can I say? I mean, it's, it's, it's a match. Um, um, the difference now, we instead of Kumasi, we're playing in Cape Coast, but I think uh, the pitch is also good. Um, surely, African football is different than European football due to the climate and a lot of things. But, but um, yeah, I've played myself some matches in Africa, in Ghana, and uh, the players as well. So it's not a new thing for us all. Yeah. And yeah, like, like I said, I think we are prepared. But we're training to go today, and the, the boys look sharp, um, they look ready. Really, really good to see. You know, there are days where I think, oh, I, when I see them train, like, oh, I wish I would be young and could join them. But uh, when I saw the training, it was hot, and uh, I was uh, thinking, okay, it's good that I'm off the pitch now, because the guys look really sharp and uh, looking forward for the game. To start by tomorrow, we we'll give everything that we have to to get the three points. But we know it's going to be a very difficult game. There are no teams that we can underrate anymore, especially in, in our continent. So we need to prepare and not believe that it's just going to happen. It's going to be tough, and whatever it takes, we will give everything to to try and get the the victory. As um, soon as possible. Moments, the best player will play. That's it. And uh, we will decide this uh, tomorrow evening. So, very close to the game, actually. And um, there was a second. Ah, if we can assure that we can win. We have not won in our last six Yes, years. yes, yes. Uh, I mean, this is the, the good thing about football. Um, yeah, it's difficult to predict the result. We will do our best, and our, I hope that if we do our best, it will be enough to win. But um, if you look at their recent games, and um, not not long time ago, I think they they even beat Nigeria. So I think you, you from this you can see what we have to expect. Anything is happen, uh, can can be possible in football, and uh, we are the favourites. But it's, it's like I said, it's a different game. We have to break them. Um, football, in football, we have seen first division clubs losing against third division clubs, big big clubs losing against small clubs. So anything can happen. But I'm very, very sure if we give our best and if we stick to our plan and if everybody or the players have a good day or a normal day, then we should win. Okay. Yes, captain. Um, the question again? I'm saying uh, in our last six matches, last last is yet to win the game. I'm saying that you also have shots. You are the leader of the team. Well, um, yes, yeah, true that maybe we, we did not win in the last uh, maybe five or six, as you say. But um, we have seen a lot of progress. We have seen a lot of, um, you know, development in, in what we are doing and if you look at the last two games okay we didn't win but it took us to the to the World Cup so I, I take it like like a win. But uh, yeah tomorrow um is a whole different ball game when you play versus a team like Madagascar who has everything to to play for in Ghana the, the all the players want to show themselves and show what they can do versus one of the best African teams and the team who is going to Qatar. We have to expect that it's going to be very difficult. But we are ready and um, we are going to keep everything that
that we have to make sure that we get a win here and start on the right foot because this campaign is going to be long with a lot of gains and it's always good to start it with, with a victory because it gives a lot of confidence and strong mentality for, for the rest. Play. Um, that's yeah, making it more difficult for me to decide who's going to play and I think I, this, this is what uh, I expect as well. So the, the guys look very, very sharp, ready, although uh, it's uh, after the season and I assume maybe one or two players will be tired, but they look good, they look sharp and I'm uh, very, very confident that if we bring this to the pitch tomorrow, we'll Okay, yes. No, the one after the is only you. Selassie Fiawi, Sahara Football. Um, your first call-up, you named one Ghana Premier League player. This time you called two. <coughs> Should we expect more locally based players to be included in the squad? And what do you think the level of Ghana football is, in your opinion? Um, yeah, I've been, I've been watching on, on videos some games. Um, and, uh, the players we called, um, they, they have made good impressions. So for me, it's also important to see them live in the training. And at the end, uh, once we're on the pitch, I don't care who's local, who's not local, who's whatever. Small or big, it's performance. And this should decide. It's always the performance which should uh, decide who is invited, and it's always the performance which should decide uh, who is playing. Surely, some players are always ahead because experienced players who showed and who, was lead, who were leading uh, the Ghana national team before, they have some advantage, this is for sure. But um, at the end of the day, it's the performance in the training and the performance uh, in their clubs will brought them to, to the national team and then at the end, it's the performance on the pitch which will bring them to the, to the squad. And uh, so for me, I don't care if you're a local player, you're not local player, it's performance. Yes, you. Uh, um, I'm going to end it. Keep the front. Uh, coach, we, I had a discussion with Ghana today where we are missing the services of Thomas Party and then Alana Nekiko who played very instrument in your first games and then your last two games against Nigeria. How are you going to affect the team? And to the Madagascar team, should they be underrated? How will you know them? So, you're asking why they're not there or? No. Yeah. How are the effects of the, the, the effect of the absence? It's, yeah, it's difficult to say. I think, in all, we have a good squad. And um, even though they are missing, and they are very important players uh, of our squad, but um, yeah, I think uh, when we saw the Nigerian game where we had uh, yeah eight injuries of players who would normally play or are close to play, and then also we had two suspensions from our captain and Benjamin Tete, and the, we saw that like the, the the boys who came up they they did well, so. I'm very, very confident. Um, we have a good squad. We have a good mentality, good players who can uh, um, um, yeah, show up. Even some, some players, maybe some people don't know as much, but um, uh, I feel very, very confident seeing them training. And uh, we can, yeah, I think we have proven that we have a squad yeah, which can replace though. any player. No, 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 no. And no. therefore, yeah, I'm very, very confident and looking forward to the match. How, said, how well do you know the Madagascar? How well? <laughs> Surely we observe them, we prepare ourselves. Um, they, have a, they have a good squad. Um, not to be underrated, very, very good. They have really good players. Um, and like I said, they, they, they beat Nigeria, so being any, anything said, we can't underrate them. It's going to be tough. It's a different match. Sometimes it yeah, maybe sounds sounds weird but sometimes it's more difficult to play against teams where you are the favorite where everybody have different expectation where you have to show and then you don't know why the ball is not going into the net sometimes these are diff more difficult games than uh, a game where you yeah are not so under pressure where everybody thinks oh they will beat you uh, it's, it's sometimes easier to play against uh, Portugal than Mozambique or uh, Madagascar Okay, you. We are Ghana, and when you go to England, you have 
Excuse me. <laughs> No, your name, your name, and where which station is that? Chief Belfon, Cleveland. Chief Bush, Cleveland. We have Indian president. We have as a Venga ball, Sari ball. So, so good. Let me ask you, what's your loss of your style of play? A very good question. Really, really good. Ah, my style of play. Um, I think really I, I adapt to, to the opponent. I, I, I take a close look on our opponents, what are their strengths, what are their weaknesses, and then on based on that and based on the performance on the pitch, I choose the players, the system, so it's, it's flexible. Um, it's really hard to say that this is my style of play. Um, I have many styles, I think. So, and. Um, I think we showed it also. Even there were just two matches. It's like not representative, but um, this is this is my style to be flexible, to be uh, not readable, to yeah, to adapt also to the opponent, to adapt. Yeah, we surely want to um, would be great if um, um, we can have a win. This is for sure. Um, it's time for a win. I think, uh, like your colleague said. Uh, um, the team hasn't won for, for some time, for some matches, so it would be good. Um, I'm very, very yeah, com yeah, confident that we will or we can win. Let's say it like that. Um, the second part was what again? Interesting situation. Uh, interesting, yeah. yeah um, I'm not sure if uh, Joseph Haley will make it to the game. There's an injury. Um, but we see. We see. It's getting better from day to day. Um, yeah, we'll see. The, but this is the only interest player we have. Okay, let's see. Coach, I'm Eric. Eric, I'm Eric. I'm Eric. I'm Eric. I'm Eric. I'm Eric. I want to ask, um, yeah, yeah, from this dictatorship, the reports with the team Kumasi against Nigeria, you all know who the King Coasters has been. Um, have really run behind the bar. Uh, you can't really with the expectation from Kumasi and that of Kate. Um, what do you uh, seem to imagine judging from the expectation here in Yeah, yeah I don't know. Um, the last time I was here as an assistant, we played against South Africa. Um, everybody was positive, was supportive. Um, surely Kumasi was really, really massive. Um, but um, Kate was good as well. So we won, and uh, everybody was uh, happy, and um, yeah, we we expect the, the spectators to be behind us, like um, they did in the last games, um, and I hope that if anything doesn't go well, they still support us. This is my hope, but uh, because this is what we need, and um, at the end of the the, the day, it's it's about to qualify. And when we do this, um, I think everybody will be happy. So, but um, like I said, if everything is going well, sure we can we can count on the spectators, and I'm um, just hoping that if things maybe don't go well from the start, they are still behind us. But um, we we have to do our job, and then everything will be good. From what I've seen, like all the guys that have come in, honestly, are trying to buy into to the project, try to to buy into what's already installed here with what is also being brought by my coach. So no only positives to say. I should that a lot are young, are very young, so I think the expectations should be, you know, limited with, with those players and give them the time and the chance to to really produce what they can produce. But um, I'm full of confidence and full of hope because we can really see that um, kind of like that has a present, especially also has a, a some experienced players who showed that they have the quality. Um, may I ask you if you were there when we beat South Africa 1-0? Yes. You were there. Yes. How do you find this?